Hi guys, good afternoon. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys a clip um, about healing of broken bones. Check out YouTube channel ko guys, meron actually mga Indians um, or people from India watching my videos. So probably it would be easier for them if I would speak in English because most Filipinos can understand English. So as I'll try my best to <clears throat> speak in English all the time so other people can also understand what I'm saying what I'm trying to say um I'm actually showing my screen right now so what happens is broken bones heal it says here there are three stages of bone healing the inflammatory uh, reparative and remodeling stages the inflammatory stage when a bone breaks, the body sends out signals for special cells to become the injured area. Some of these special cells cause the injured area to become inflamed, red, swollen, or and painful. This tells the body to stop using the injured part so it can heal. If it's injured, then you can't use that part. You know, that part needs to take some rest to, to heal. So other cells that come to the area during this stage form a hematoma, a blood clot, around the broken bone. This is the first bridge between the pieces of the broken bone. So, kung ano na bali yung buto mo, pagkabali niya, may mamumuong dugo dun sa may part ng bali. Um, which is what we call the hematoma. It's a blood clot. So the reparative stage, the reparative stage starts within about a week of the injury. Soft callus, to yung kalyo, a type of soft bone replaces the blood clot that formed the inflammatory stage. The callus holds the bone together, but it, but isn't strong enough for the body part to be used. So yung callus yun yung namumuo doon ng parang kalyo na tumitigas na parang maliliit na bones. Um, soft bone. Over the next few weeks, the soft callus becomes harder. By about two, we two, th uh, two to six weeks, this hard callus is strong enough for the body part to be used. So, pwede mo siya ng bigat. In other words, the remodeling stage. The remodeling stage starts around six weeks after the injury. In this stage, regular bone replaces the hard callus. If you saw an x-ray of the healing bone, it would look uneven but over the next few months the bone is reshaped so that it goes back to the looking way it did before the injury as long as na align siyang mabuti so ayun nga, this is the remodeling stage and it could take up to um, six weeks um, para ma-replace yung um, hard callus how do cast and splints help broken bones heal cast and splints can hold Broken bones in place while they heal, new hard bones form in about 3 to 6 weeks and the cast or splint usually can come off. What can affect bone healing? So this is the tricky part and the very uh, important part of the show. <laughs> Let's say. What can affect the bone healing? A bone might not heal as well as someone has a severe break. Yung sobrang durog na durog na yung buto mo. Like for example, ito yung buto mo, tapos na durog na yung part na yan. Which can still heal because by the meron bone lengthening na tila tapag. Pero yun yung napapatagal. It can really a affect a bone healing process. Next, has damage to the muscles, skin, and nerves in the area of the broken bone. So it's self explanatory damage of the muscles, skin, and the nerves. Kunwari, na nabulok na yung part ng binte or arm, kung saan part ng body mo, sira na yung skin niya, nagka uh, ano ano siya, ka, alam mo nagkasugat na siya, tas hindi na siya mag. Magihilo. Stuff like that. Has a vitamin deficiency. So I'm not really sure about vitamin deficiencies. It's actually the first time I've heard about this. So probably around the vitamins inside your body. Stuff like that. Has a medical condition such as osteoporosis, osteogenesis, imperfecta, diabetes, or anemia. So if you have, if you're suffering from osteoporosis, most probably osteoporosis are from people that are senior citizens osteogenesis not sure and perfecto diabetes mm -hmm. if you have diabetes so uh, probably can really affect the bone healing or anemia next take certain medicines such as cart 
corticosteroids. Corticosteroids. Like the steroids that you're... I'm not sure if the corticosteroids that they're referring is about the, the steroids the most bodybuilders are using inside a gym. I'm not really sure, but probably. Next is drinking alcohol. So, kaya nang sinasabi ko palagi, iwasan ang alak. Pag may alak, may balak. See? Drinking alcohol can really affect bone healing. Lastly, smoking of cigarettes. So, smokes cigarettes can affect bone healing as well. Because it might um because it contains nicotine right nicotine uh is also a dangerous like substance to our body to our body so avoid those and i can tell you if you're suffering a bone fracture right now probably well, if you were able to see this video be a big help for you guys how can i help my child to help your child recover from a broken bone, make sure that he or she eats a healthy diet that includes plenty of calcium and vitamin D. See? Calcium and vitamin D is the key to success. Next, take good care of the cast or splint. Yung cemento, kailangan alagan mabuti. Kailangan hindi siya nababasa or nadadaganan. Something like that. Follows the health care provider's direction for the rest and ongoing any exercises. So, what is advice ng doctor nyo? Always follow that. But, not all the time. Okay, so, this is for bone healing, but if the doctor advises you to do a surgery or operation to replace or to put a metal on, on your tibia, then that's gonna be a no no for me, if, especially if the alignment is very nice, then you should not pay for any of those metal rods lastly goes to uh, goes to all follow-up appointments so if you have an appointment make sure to always c show up in your appointment so you know the doctor can talk about um, certain things looking ahead a, bro a broken bone is a common treatable childhood injury most breaks heal well and kids can get back to all activities they enjoyed before the injury so Yun nga, um, treatable siya, it means gumagaling lang siya ng kusa. So, you don't need to take any medicine, it's just self-healing. You just need to relax, eat vegetables, drink plenty of calcium and vitamin D. Vitamin D, if you have parang allergies to vitamins or I don't know, natural sunlight is the best vitamin D that you ever take around 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning then there's plenty of vitamin D you can take so let's watch a short clip right here I hope you're hearing the background guys a broken bone is when a break goes through part or all of a bone broken bones begin healing right away first the body forms a blood clot around ha the hematoma. broken bone this blood clot is called a hematoma. It Sorry, protects the broken hematoma. bones and huh. delivers the cells needed for healing. These cells make an area of healing tissue called a callus, callus. around the broken yung bone. Yung guys. It joins the broken bones together. It's soft at first, then gets harder and stronger. The callus slowly replaces the blood clot. New hard bone starts to form in the weeks mm. after the break. The new bone will eventually replace the callus. Callus. The broken bone will slowly straighten out too. You can help your child heal by giving plenty of foods and drinks with calcium and vitamin D. Calcium. Taking good care of the cast or splint and keeping Samantha. your child away from cigarette Cigarette smoke, or smoke. Which can slow down the healing. After about three to six weeks, the new bone is usually hard enough for the cast to come off. As the bone continues to heal, your doctor will let you know which activities are okay for your child. Within a few months, most kids are usually able to return to their usual routine. See? As easy as that. So this is very important. So you should always do some research before you agree with your doctor with the operation or surgery. First, if you don't have enough money to cover for the cost of the 
doctor's fee, the operation's fee, whatever fees that. And also for the metal rod that they'll be using, it could cause a 50,000 to 100,000 pesos depending on the severity of the, the broken bone. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm hope, I, I, mean, I mean, I hope that I was able to deliver this in a, in a clear manner. And then uh, just keep supporting my channel. Um, don't skip ads. And I'll be making sure to upload more videos about um, bone, he bone healing process. About I'm not a doctor. This is just based on my own experience. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And then uh, if you are new, like the bell button for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.